What's up you guys it's Deep over here and today we will see how to create this awesome 3D neon glowing text effect in Photoshop. So we have already created some videos on the similar topic. Now if you want to check them out then the link for those videos will be in the description below. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So let's first start by creating a new document. So for that go to file and then select the option as new. And then you can set the width and height accordingly or else you can set it as follows. Width is around 1920 pixels, height is around 1080 pixels and then set the resolution as around 300 pixels per inch and then click on create. Now the next thing we need to do is fill this document with that of a nice background color. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as gradient. Now in the pop up you can click on the gradient icon which will give you another pop up in order to select the gradient. Now over here we will be creating a custom gradient so for that select the gradient as black and white and then you need to double click on the leftmost bottom color stop which will give you an option in order to set the color and then set the color as follows 046897 and then you can click on ok. After that you need to double click on the rightmost bottom color stop which will give you an option in order to select that color and then set the color as black. After that you can click on ok and then you can click on ok. So once your gradient is ready, after that you need to set the style as radial, angle as 90 degree and then set the scale as around 150% and then make sure you uncheck this reverse checkbox and then you can click on ok. So now as you can see now our background is looking proper. Now the next thing we need to do is type in our text. So for that select horizontal type tool and then you can select any font of your choice. Download link for the font I'm choosing is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop the link for that is in the description as well. And then you can set any appropriate size for your text, I am setting it to 150 point. And then you can click on the foreground color and then set any random color at the moment which will be the color of our text. Anyways we are going to change it later on so I am setting the color as white for now and then you can click on ok. And then you need to click on the toggle character panel icon and then set the spacing between the characters as 50. After that you can close this pop up. Now using the horizontal type tool you need to click on the document and then type in any text of your choice. So once you are done typing that text after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now the next thing we need to do is place this text at the center of the document. So for that press ctrl or command on mac and then click on this background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the text layer active and then you need to select move tool. After that you need to click on align horizontal centers and then you need to click on align vertical centers. So now as you can see now our text has been placed at the center of the document. Now the next thing we need to do is make the text layer active by clicking on it. After that we need to convert this text layer into a smart object so that later on we can edit it non-destructively. So for that right click on the text layer and then select the option as convert to smart object. So once you have converted your text into a smart object, the icon of your text layer will look something like this. Now the next thing we need to do is change the color for our text. So for that click on add layer style icon and then select the option as color overlay. Now in the pop up you need to set the blend mode as normal. Click on the color icon and then set the color as follows FB0505 and then you can click on OK. And then you need to set the opacity of the color overlay to 100% as well. So now as you can see now we have changed the color of the text to that of a red color. Now the next thing we need to do is select the option as bevel and emboss. After that you need to set the style as in a bevel. Technique as chisel hard. Depth as 290%. Direction as up. Size as around 70 pixels. Soften as 0 pixel. Make sure you uncheck this use global light option. And then set the angle as around 170 degree. Altitude to around 40 degree. Click on the drop down of the gloss counter and then select the option as linear. Make sure you uncheck this anti alias option and then set the blend mode of the highlight mode as green, color as white and then set the opacity of the highlight mode to 
After that, set the blend mode of the shadow mode to multiply, color as black, and then set the opacity to around 40%. So as you can see, after applying the bevel and emboss effect, your text layer will look something like this. Now let me just show you the before and after of this bevel and emboss. So this was the before, and now this is the after. After that, you can click on OK. So now the base layer for our text is ready. Now the next thing we need to do is create a 3D depth out of this text. So for that, we will create one action. So for that, go to Windows and then select the option as Actions. Now over here, we will be creating a new action. So for that, click on the Create New Action icon and then you can give any name of your action. So once you have given the name of your action, you can hit the record button. So now as you can see now that action has started recording the steps which we will be performing. So the first step which we will be performing for this action is create a duplicate of this text object smart layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And then we need to bring up the transform tool. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus T. So now the next thing we need to do is move this duplicate text layer to the right by 2 pixels and to the bottom by 2 pixels. So for that we need to increase the values of x and y by 2 pixels each. So let me just do that. So once you have increased the values of x and y by 2 pixels each, after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now the third step which we will be performing for this action is drag this duplicate text layer below our original text layer. So let me just do that. So as you can see we have dragged the duplicate layer below our original text layer. So once you have performed these three steps, after that you can stop the recording of the action. So let me just do that. So now as you can see now our action has performed all the three steps. That is create a duplicate and then transform and then move the current layer. Now the next thing we need to do is repeat these same three steps 23 more times in order to create a perfect depth. So for that all you need to do is make the action active by clicking on it. And then you need to keep on playing the play button until you reach a copy count of 23. So let me just do that. So now as you can see now we have reached the copy count of 23. Also as you can see we have created a nice 3D depth. Now the next thing we need to do is merge all these layers into a single group. So for that make the layer above it active by clicking on it. And then you need to go at the top and then press shift and then click on the top text layer which will give you the selection of that layer as well as give you the selection of all the layers in between and then you can press ctrl or command on mac plus g to combine all the selected layers into a single group and then you can rename that group as follows so once we have renamed the group after that we need to make the 23rd copy layer active by clicking on it and then we need to clear all the layer styles which we have created for that layer so for that right click on that layer and then select the option as clear layer style. So after clearing the layer styles, your text should look something like this. Now after that let me just close this actions pop up. So now the next thing we need to do is set the fill of this layer to 0% so that our text is no more visible but it is still present at that location. So let me just do that. So now as you can see now our white color text is no more visible but it is still present over there. Now the next thing you need to do is click on add layer style icon and then select the option as stroke. Now in the pop up you need to set the size of the stroke to around 5 pixels, position as outside, blend mode as normal, opacity as 100%, set the fill type as color and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows 00 E4 FF and then you can click on OK. So now let me just show you the before and after of this stroke. So this was the before and now this is the after. Now the next thing we need to do is select the option as inner glow. So let me just do that. Now over there you need to set the blend mode as normal. Opacity as 65%. Noise as 0% and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows 00 F0 FF and then you can click on OK. After that set the technique as softer, source as edge, choke to 0% and then set the size as around 60 pixels. And then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this inner glow. So for that let me just zoom in a little bit into the image. 
So now in order to see the before and after of this inner glow, you need to focus on the edge of the text over here. So this was the before and now this is the after. After that, let me just make this image fit into the document. So now the next thing we need to do is add some blue glow around the text. So for that, select the option as outer glow. Now over there, you need to set the blend mode as normal. Opacity as 100%. Noise as 0%. And then click on the color icon. And then set the color as follows. 00, zero E4, FF. And then you can click on OK. Technique as softer. Spread as 7%. Size is around 90 pixels. And then set the contour as linear. Range is around 100%. And then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this outer glow. So this was the before and now this is the after. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see now our lower portion of the text is completely ready. Now we need to do something about the upper portion of the text over here as well. So for that expand this depth group. And then you need to make the first layer inside of the group active by clicking on it. And then we need to create the duplicate of this first text layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And then we need to drag this duplicate layer out of this depth group. So let me just do that. So now as you can see now that duplicate layer is outside of this depth group over here. Now after that you can minimize this depth group by clicking on the drop down over here. So now for this new duplicate text layer as well. We need to clear all the layer styles which are present at the moment. So for that right click on the text layer. And then select the option as clear layer style. So now as you can see now after clearing the layer style, our text is looking somewhat like this. Now the next thing we need to do is change the color of this top text. So for that click on add layer style icon. And then select the option as color overlay. Now in the pop up you need to set the blend mode as normal. Click on the color icon. And then set the color as follows. FF D9 2A. And then you can click on OK. And then you need to set the opacity of that color to around 100%. Now let me just show you the before and after of this color overlay. So this was the before and now this is the after. Now the next thing we need to do is add some stroke over here as well. So for that select the option as stroke. And then you need to set the size of the stroke to around 5 pixels. Position as inside. Blend mode as normal. Opacity as 100%. Fill type as color. And then click on the color icon. And then set the color as follows. FF FB 94 and then you can click on OK. Now let me just show you the before and after of this stroke. So this was the before and now this is the after. Now we need to add some shadows over here as well in order to give this stroke a depth kind of effect. So for that select the option as inner shadow. Now over there you need to set the blend mode as linear burn. Click on the color icon and then set the color as follows 32251E and then you can click on OK. Opacity as 50%. Make sure you uncheck this use global light option. And then set the angle as around 135 degree. Distance as 10 pixels. Choke as around 15%. And then set the size to around 25 pixels. And then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this inner shadow. So this was the before. And now this is the after. So as you can see it gives this stroke a nice depth kind of effect. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see now our text is almost ready. Now the next thing we need to do is create a duplicate of this text layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. So once you have created the duplicate of that text layer, we need to clear all the layer styles which we had created earlier. So for that right click on the text layer and then select the option as clear layer style. So once you have cleared all the layer style, your text will look something like this. Now after that we need to move this text a little bit. So for that we need to bring up the transform tool. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus T. And then we need to move this text to left by 10 pixels and to top by 10 pixels. So for that we need to reduce the values of X and Y by 10 pixels each. So let me just do that. So once it looks proper, after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. So after changing the position of the text layer, your overall text will look something like this. Now the next thing we need to do is set the fill of this layer to 0%. So let me just do that. So as you can see as you set the fill of that layer to 0%, your text is no more visible but it is still present over there. 
Now after that you need to click on add layer style icon and then select the option as stroke. Now in the pop-up you need to set the size to around 5 pixels, position as outside, blend mode as normal, opacity as 100%, fill type as color, click on the color icon and then set the color as follows ED1C24 and then you can click on OK. Now let me just show you the before and after of the stroke option. So this was the before and now this is the after. Now after that we need to add some glow surrounding this stroke. So for that select the option as inner glow. And then over there you need to set the blend mode as screen. Opacity to around 50%. Noise as 0%. Click on the color icon. And then set the color as follows. ED1C24. And then you can click on OK. Technique as softer. Source as edge. Choke to 0%. And then set the size to around 60 pixels. After that you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this inner glow. So for that let me just zoom in a little bit into the image. So this was the before. And now this is the after. After that let me just zoom out again. Now the next thing we need to do is add some more outer glow. So for that select the option as outer glow. And then over there you need to set the blend mode as screen. Set the opacity to around 80%. Noise as 0%. Click on the color icon and then set the color as follows FF0000 and then you can click on OK. Technique as softer, spread as 0% and then set the size to around 75 pixels and then you can set the range to around 50% and then keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this outer glow. So this was the before and now this is the after. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see now our text is looking more proper. So yeah that's it guys. That's the final image. I hope you guys like this video on how to create this 3D neon glowing text effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps us in deciding what kinds of topic you want to watch more. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.